looking up into trees makes us more likely to help a stranger just made me feel like, wow, that's so awesome. You know, you look at the drawings of people, they draw their social networks when they're feeling awe, and it, it just shows all this interconnectivity. What a neat measure of interconnectivity that Yang Bai came up with. I'm awestruck by goosebumps and, you know, the different varieties of goosebumps and the chills <laughs> and how now young people use ASMR to, to experience the chills, you know, and to cultivate that feeling. I'm awestruck by the vagus nerve, you know, the largest bundle of nerves in the mammalian nervous system that really looks like it, came, it is in part been shaped by evolution to engage with other people. You know, that's amazing to me that, you know, you can find that in the body. You know, I feel when you study awe, it's both a, a responsibility and then a privilege to like figure out the science that does it justice, that is like, this is amazing. I'm awestruck that a day on a river for veterans can reduce PTSD 30% in our research. So yeah, I, it's just been a one awe-inspiring, you know, <laughs> adventure after another in the lab. Wow, that's that, that's great. Uh, do do you think that that actually the practice of science or scientific research can deepen or facilitate our sense of awe in general? That scientists, you know, not not necessarily psychologists who study awe, but other scientists, that the, the kind of knowledge or expertise one gains in in their work can actually then open them to encountering awe in, in ways that others may not have access to. Yeah, I, th I think that, I mean, we do science for many different reasons, right? It's a vast endeavor. People do science to make money and advance their standing in the world, but also out of curiosity. You know, one of my favorite examples is Newton and Descartes freaked out about rainbows. They were just like, how in the world do rainbows exist? And they literally did some of their best physics, color theory, math, to understand how it is that when light bends through water molecules, it turns into rainbows. So that's curiosity and wonder that leads to a new view of the world. And I think at its best, the scientific endeavor is about awe. You know, it's about, I don't know this. I have these cool tools, sophisticated tools. I can understand a phenomenon. And just like you said, I have an aesthetic experience of seeing of what underlies the perceived world. You know, when I studied facial expression, learn how to code faces, all of a sudden I saw so much in the face I didn't know existed. When we study human vocalization and all the ways in which we convey different emotions with the voice, I was astounded suddenly to hear things differently, like music, right? And I think a lot of scientists feel that way. The scientific method of deep observation, putting aside bias, opening your mind, and like you said, look for these big systems underlying what we perceive. It can be awe-inspiring and make you almost spiritual.